Okay, so friggin, uh, we're back in, uh, in old Inwood there, friggin, uh, same place we looked at that derelict shantytown building there, but uh, now we're looking at the shop across the road, so uh, yeah, let's go have a look. Hey, right, look at me, it's Bim, as you can tell, I'm live from location, about to have a cigarette, it's a ghost town, I'm scared as hell, everything's boarded up, and then we cheached. Oh, so they called this place Red Iron Repair. Bricks look good. Got some new new part over here. The roof's a little decked. And then the big shop. See the roof's a little bit decked. But uh frig yeah. Gotta size that door. It was like an old farm uh, farm son of a bitch place. Beg my part. Yeah, so I guess there's the back of that store. Must live there or something. It's got all this crap here, so I don't know. It's kind of... Yeah. So, just over an acre. But, uh... You know? Look at that. Friggin' scrap metal, Mike. That thing's heavier as frig. Yeah, scrap metal corner, ladies and gentlemen. Scrap metal friggin' corner. Let's go look inside. Yeah, here we change. <laughs> Friggin' rights. Look at this. Big, huge part here. Another big part over there. All block. Okay, well, not all block. This back part isn't, but the whole front building is all freaking block. This was obviously an addition. Oh, they got all kinds of numbers up there. All the friggin' way around. Eh? That must be for belts or something. All the friggin' way around. Son of a bitch. But yeah, clearly somebody's got all their stuff in here, but... So the water from the road hasn't been hooked up yet, but they've all... It's got all the appliances and stuff like that. And, you know, you make this into like a jail type shower with just spigots coming out everywhere. And that'd be alright. Different things. Oh, there's, there's, there's a leak. A little bit of nice moisticulator. Boards up there. Yeah. I have to go up there and do some investigations. But, uh, holy crap. Looks like a little office. The roof uh, looks like it's been leaking in here for a while. It just reeks like mold. So. You know, take some work and stuff, insulation, looks like they have, it's half job season, you know, it's pretty warm in here, so the insulation seems to be working, but friggin' all kinds of plywood and stuff, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe that's all coming with it, oh man, the friggin' son of a bitch guy for your, uh, for your, uh, AC, and then there's another little room over here, those cans gotta come with it if you want it. oh yeah, Mike, uh, called the pop cans, Friggin' rights, man. Root ceiling in here doesn't look as bad, but it looks like it was leaking at one time, but I think I know a roof guy, so that'd be alright, you know. Get the old hook up and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, there's uh you can see the bottoms of those frames. I was wondering what that was, but in in the other part there's all these uh skinny little roof truss antlers, so huh. Freaking right. Looks like there's a little chooch spot right there, but you know, nothing seems overly dick. The brickwork's really good. Even the inside for freak's sakes. But uh and then we cheached. We know a guy. Yeah, we know a guy. Friggin' rights, man. This place is awesome. We'll have to see if we can't get up on the roof. Back my part. So yeah, talk to the uh guy at the store next door there and uh, he said that it's it was a Massey dealer for 80 something years and it was the second longest running Massey dealer in the world and the largest or the longest running in North America so that's pretty cool and uh, the, the lot in the back is L-shaped so it's uh, it's that whole back grass area and even behind the other buildings that are on that block so that's friggin awesome and uh, yeah, so I'm going to put an offer in onto her and hopefully uh, 
buddy bites and then we cheached but uh, yeah and we found the best way to get here too no gravel roads and stuff so freaking rights and then we cheached so uh, until tomorrow don't start shitting out your mouth